again, the presidential and research hangers are often missed by people. But there's cool things in here. because <laughs> we've been using drones for years. My favorite badass plane. So if you want to come to this part, you can touch the fancy metal that was made, that was used on these. Swapped wings, if you look at it. Wings come forward, not backwards, and they're very short. This was sort of like a harrier. <laughs> the wings were tilt up, or the, the engines were tilt up. This is the X40A, kind of an idea of a small space maneuver here from the late 90s. And this is the back of the F23. They tried to make it stealthy. I heard it was a good plane. Many people were not happy that it lost out to the F-22. That's the YF-23 Black Widow 2. Not a lot of people come over here to this part of it to see the presidential and test aircraft. If you if you come this far, check it out. There's some cool things. This lost out to the F-22 to replace the F-15s, which I still think are bad. Flight simulator, an actual flying flight. This is pretty much what uh, Chuck Yeager used to break the sound barrier. One B though. <laughs> 
couldn't really see much. Ever wonder where all your tax dollars go? A lot of them go to here into projects like this that oftentimes don't become real or especially don't become talked about. You can see this hook that was made to be dropped. Okay, drop from a B36. Basically a Harrier jump jet. I think it has a slightly different end. Let's see here where the mouse is removed. The problem with these is they, they weren't very fast in a straight line. I mean, the idea is awesome. Shoot it up like a rocket and then it can land. <laughs> Said it became too complex to be practical. This aircraft was the first to have a pulse detonation engine We're made from off-the-shelf auto parts. It's a cool looking thing I haven't seen before. It's called Dark Star. Just so like the SR. That is the Thompson Trophy. It's prevented for supremacy of the air. In 1965, this trophy was given to two pilots who uh, took the absolute speed record back from the Soviets in a YF-12. Just like that. The Y designates experimental. The fin obviously comes straight down. Stability. I do like this plane. <laughs> Visitors with a green wristband. The best will be part of a fine temple.
So apparently they do have a bus that takes people back to the museum area. Sometimes people don't know that. Prototype of the B1. We're standing right under it. One's pretty big. You can tell the B1 is a little bit different than this. It's got a lot of lift. This has got some power to it. The Valkyrie. You can definitely see where they got. They borrowed a lot of ideas for the B1 from this. Tactic Blue. It was used to test stealth technology. Flew a bunch of times. This is the first successful tilt rotor. You can tell they took mainly helicopter design for it. P.S. I really wasn't supposed to be touching the SR-71 and the YF-12. So again, if you get the time, check out the annex to the Air Force Museum. They'll put you on a bus. They'll bring you over here if you need that. If you have access, you can just jump in your car. I gotta think. U.S. Air Force Museum. I know this is like the third video I posted. I'm only gonna do one more when I finally get the shuttle all done. But it's a great museum, great history. But again, like I said in there, it really does show that our tax dollars are not always something we can perceive where the money was spent. Government has a large budget for a great many things. Some of those they don't like to talk about very much, to include how much things cost. The black budget or slush fund is quite large. In some ways that's a terrible thing, in some ways it's a great thing because our nation has achieved some pretty remarkable things. You know, when you take two seconds to think about it, we put a man, 12 of them, we put 12 men stepped on the moon. It's pretty amazing. 
we may have sometimes outreached our authority, but we have tried to protect the world. We've sent things out of the solar system, landed craft on Mars, orbited all the planets. A lot of that money comes from, well, that money all comes from your tax dollars. And a lot of the technology happens through research at places like this. What goes on at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is pretty special, even though they don't talk about it very much. And the aliens are very close to this hangar. Have a great and wonderful day, YouTubers. Get out there, check things out.